Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am sitting on the floor right now. <laughs> I've just done my wardrobe room tour um, and I've just put it all back. And I figured as I have some extra time, I would just film the draw part now. Also because I am gonna start, cause it's starting to get a bit warmer. So I like to swap like what's in my drawers with what's up on the rail. Um, and I've kind of been putting it off because I know I wanted to film this. And this will be a separate video just because the other one was really long. Um, but this is kind of more loungewear and kind of more summery things. Or like I know I have a winter dress in there that I can see and it's like sticking out like there. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully this one shouldn't be too long. Um, but this is going to kind of be joined on with that one. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Um, if you like kind of collection videos, outfit of the day videos and also haul videos um and i will get into the video now <laughs> so i was just gonna start because i've got some drawers by my bed but they mainly have pajamas in and i'm not gonna show you like all that because that's really not interesting so i just have some kind of gothy like loungewear stuff that i have um so i thought i'd just show you this like small pile of stuff i have down here and then i'll go into these two main drawers first one is a killstar t-shirt now, I have this one in my loungewear drawer. I mentioned in my wardrobe tour that I would wear the t-shirts I have for like traveling, um, but I find that this one, I don't know if it's just me, but I find the other ones a lot more comfortable and I think this one has a much higher neck. It does look a bit different, so I'm not sure what that's about, but I do have this one just like folded up in my drawer if i want to wear like leggings kind of like this top it's kind of like a loungewear top i have this one which i bought from primark which says creeping it real i do like the fact that this is white the only thing is it's a little bit see-through i guess that's my only complaint because i was just thinking like when it's really hot it's a good idea to maybe have like white clothing with a creepy print on so it's not as like hot if you're in 30 degrees but the writing on this one is a little bit faded as you can see so but this was only like £2.50 in Primark but maybe I should have picked up another one and maybe saved it for my holiday or something a t-shirt that I probably would wear out but it's just kind of in that drawer is this Buffy the Vampire Slayer t-shirt I don't know why everything is so creased so it says Buffy the vampire slayer in this red really cool writing and then it's got buffy herself and it's just on a black short sleeved t-shirt um this was actually h&m's halloween range for 2018 the next top was i think halloween two years ago and this was from h&m again um and it says no it wasn't it was from primark this one was from primark and it's one of the was it pasheen like that cat I'm not like too into that but it's just the fact that it's got a pumpkin on it really i'm not sure if i would have bought this top but beforehand i bought these <laughs> and these were from h&m and i know the haunted bat has like a few pairs of these and i have like two pairs because we both went back when they had the sale on h&m came out with these which are the same cat but they're kind of more spooky like it's kind of like a cat ghost and a cat bat if you're not into the cat thing like these are still really cool like spooky lounge trousers so i did buy those because i was just like these are amazing and then primark the same year came out with this top and i was like well i may as well get the matching set <laughs> this top i'm not sure what brand it is it's like a shop we have in town um it's kind of like a sporty shop but my sister goes in there a lot and i found this like top on sale and it says this is my halloween outfit i really love this top but not for what it looks like like the fit of it is really nice like it has these kind of like fold over sleeves and it just kind of feels like the sportswear but it's really comfy so i love wearing this top with leggings it's probably one of my most worn loungewear tops and the last one in that drawer is this one and this is a Three Days Grace t-shirt. I'm trying to build up my collection of t-shirts with like what I like. Like I've got the Adams Family one, now an Edgar Allan Poe one, and also a Three Days Grace one. But kind of like with my favourite bands and like TV shows and stuff like that. So I do like Three Days Grace, so I got this Three Days Grace t-shirt. 
It's one of their more recent albums. Human, that's what it's called. And I did get this one from EMP or EMP. Now the ones in this drawer, I'm kind of dreading getting out a little bit because they are in like plastic bags to like keep them flat. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna empty this out real quick. So this has like a real collection of winter and then like really summery stuff. And also things I just don't tend to wear a lot. I did say I wasn't gonna show you pajamas, but these are like spare shorts I just have in here. Um, <laughs> I think because at Halloween, like this print was so amazing. When they were a pound, I went back and stocked up. <laughs> so the first actual thing in the drawer is this Hell Bunny Victorian shirt. Now I used to wear this all the time, but again, I kind of moved on a bit from Victorian fashion. I'm kind of getting a bit into it now with like the Killstar dresses. But yeah, this is like a feather printed shirt with like cuffed sleeves. It does have a high neck and also the same rose buttons I showed on the skirt in my wardrobe tour. But it is like, I don't know, it just has a really nice fit to it. One of my like Christmassy things is this Hell Bunny like cardigan jumper. It is really thick, um, especially like up here. And it's got this really pretty print of like kind of snowflakes but in this like, creepy way. So there's like ornaments with bones in and also like these huge skulls along the front. And I think this is such like a nice Christmas jumper for any spooky people. Um, and I did buy this one off of eBay. This one was kind of like my favorite top for Halloween, kind of orange and black striped. But as I've mentioned before, I don't like scoop neck tops. And now I've got that like other orange and black top I tend to not wear this anymore so maybe when I swap my wardrobe around I'll kind of go through things a little bit. I have this burgundy top from Primark and it's an off the shoulder one which is quite a flattering fit just kind of normal length normal sleeves. I have this one again which my boyfriend gave me and it's from the brand Heavy Red which is a really cool victorian fashion brand but they are like in america and their clothes are a bit more expensive like i've seen like alice in wonderland themed outfits and they look incredible this is like a gray and black striped top with really long sleeves and they also do have thumb holes yeah which is like a really cute design also in this one i keep some summer dresses this is kind of like my dream dress that I finally have that I'm really happy about. I actually got it last summer, I think, off of either eBay or Depop, but it's the Hell Bunny anchor dress. I just, I love this so much. It's got like these really cute skull anchor kind of patch things on the pockets, and they do have pockets. It's just such a nice contrast dress like it's mainly black and then there's these bits of white and it is a halter neck i love this dress so much i've wanted it for probably like five six years and when we went to like on holiday and we found like a hot topic um i bought the blue one because they had one left in a size medium and it was blue and i was so desperate for this design but i did buy it but like it was too big to start with and it wasn't the black one and i really did want this one so I did end up selling that one when I found this one because this was like the ultimate one that I really wanted. And I did actually design a necklace to go with this dress, which I probably will put like a poll up to see if people are interested because it is kind of specifically for this dress and not a lot of people are into kind of nautical gothy things, but I definitely am. So if people want like that necklace to be made available to like everyone, then that is something I can do. This, oh, this is like my Halloween dress. I did buy this last year for Halloween, I think from eBay, but it's from the brand Ripley's Clothing. I think it was like 19, no, no it wasn't. It was like 16 pounds, I think, with free postage. It was like such a good deal, I couldn't believe it. And it's such a gorgeous design. <laughs> So it is like a very similar style to the anchor one, but it's, n it's not like a halter neck. It's got the straps that connect from the front and back. It's got this like heart-shaped kind of chest thing going on. 
with a cobweb design with like cherry pumpkins and bats i did make a review specifically on this dress when i first started up my channel but i will leave that linked below but i did wear this on like halloween during the day with like a pumpkin patch necklace i made and like hair bows and stuff i have some like really shorts um basic like is that the right way around like, crew neck uh, short sleeve t-shirts just for like holiday and things which I keep in there some like joggers which really aren't interesting <laughs> I also have my swimming costume um I only have two swimming costumes honestly I'm not like a big swimming person I only swim if I like go on holiday or something but I found this because I really wanted a gothy swimming costume and a lot of brands come up with gorgeous prints but they're only in bikinis and I, I really don't like bikinis but then I looked on eBay and they had this really pretty swimming costume and it's by the company called ban it has like a halter neck feature so you, that like ties around your neck and it has these really cute adorable bows on them which i really love and then it does go into this kind of symbol design so it has different symbols around it i'm honestly not sure what a lot of them mean but i just really like the design of it it has a skull with like an eye at the top the eye of Horaz, if I'm saying that right, that middle one, the Egyptian one, some like pentagrams and stuff, some moons, some keys, and then it just goes down into like these like shorts. It is like a really nice style of swimming costume. I do really love this swimming costume, and I do really recommend it if you're looking for like a gothy swimming costume. So the next lot of things are in this really crinkly bag. And it basically makes them a lot flatter than they actually are. So a lot of this will probably just be summer wear. So I'll go through this, as I said, fairly quickly. Have some, like, swimming shorts. This, like, t-shirt that matches some long socks I have. But I don't really tend to wear it because the pocket kind of bugs me on the front of it. More kind of black plain shorts just from Primark over the years for holiday. Have a lot of kind of lace stuff in here as well like i've got this all lace top which i tend to wear with like a vest top but it is a really pretty lace it's just kind of a bit itchy <laughs> another lace one i have where is it is this and this is from select again when they had the really cool tartan stuff and it's just this like lace front as you can see the material itself is quite see-through so it is good for summer i have this dress which kind of looks like a bit childish and i know they did make it for children but primark came out with these kind of like really summery dresses and they've kind of got this like flower print on them with this like embroidered effect but like a simple dress like that is really easy to like goth up in the summer because it's really lightweight and you can wear like pins and chokers and, and also because it does have holes in, you're not making a hole in your dress, which is kind of cool. And belts, they look good with belts as well. Have this play suit. Honestly, I'm not sure what to do about it because it's from the brand Motel and it's gorgeous. Like I love the print of it. It's like short sleeved and it's got shorts. When you put it on, it has a lace up back and whenever you have to go to the bathroom you have to undo all of it and it's such a pain if you've got no one to help you so it's like once you're in it you have to like just stay in it i have this really long skirt it's like super long like a maxi skirt and it was from select in the summer and it is like this fake leather corset belt which i love with this elastic and then as i showed you it just goes down into this huge maxi skirt i really love this and i wore it for like when i did a plague doctor thing <laughs> this is a uk size six and i'm quite small but i'm nowhere near a six it's just it's way too long like if i wore it out it would just get over everything so i'm not really sure but again i do really like it and hopefully i'll wear it someday this one is from the company rqbl um red queen's black legion yeah and this was one i got from the gothic shop and i love like the look of it and i still do very like lolita victorian with like puffy sleeves lace this corset back and i remember this one was almost oh it was around 30 30 to 40 pounds 
and like the quality just isn't there the back of it is kind of if you leave it off the hanger clasp thing undone like it starts to break there as you can see it's very thin and through the wash like the netting came out so a bit frustrating but it is a really pretty top and the last thing in this like plastic thing <laughs> is a maxi dress um and i got this from primark and i think it was like five pounds um but i really love the design of it it's kind of like this vest top kind of look and then it cinches in around the waist and then it goes down into this really cool black and white almost tie-dye but not too much um like striped effect so this would look really nice over like swimming costumes or even as like a casual holiday look as i said most of this is kind of holiday stuff because it is packed away in the drawer now i'll move on to the second drawer this is a again it's a scoop neck why why do i keep doing this it's like a purple just long sleeve top with a scoop neck um, which is probably why it's in the drawer because i don't like scoop necks but i couldn't find this color with a crew neck which kind of irritated me but i do really love the color of this i have also this really soft red turtleneck like a proper turtleneck with the neck that you roll up and it's just a very simple bright red um something i'd wear probably more at christmas time a jumper that's in here is one of my like autumnal jumpers that i wear quite a lot and i do really love this one it's kind of got an interesting texture i'm not sure how to describe it but it's very soft again from primark and it looks really nice with like this choker it's kind of like gothy autumn which i love <laughs> so yeah that one goes away after autumn <laughs> I was talking about Nightmare Before Christmas leggings in my wardrobe tour, and here they are. They're very detailed. They've got like uh, the snowflake pattern, like spots and Jack Skellington faces, um, like a Christmas scene, and like the swirl, some gravestones. It's like a mixture of spooky and seasonal, and it just kind of repeats. So they are cute. I have this orange jumper which is very similar in fact i think it's the same style as that gray one that i showed that kind of reminded me of like more something elderly people would wear but i do have it in orange as well for autumn i have another like burgundy top um this one's from MS, but it's just kind of one my mum lent me and it is nice for more like christmasy festive outfits i have another turtleneck and this time it's striped and it is quite a thin one this one also was from primark and then i have this dress which is super pretty and i actually bought this from h&m for like three or four pounds and it is just like a vest kind of style like sleeveless and it is a velvet it's very soft as well like a low back but i'd probably wear like a fishnet top under this and then a skater skirt i'm really looking forward to like styling this in the summer and i will probably do an outfit of the day with this one and the jumper dress i was talking about as well like i kept mentioning things that were in the drawer from that video is this one and this is the witch dress by killstar and this is literally like the snuggliest thermal dress in the world it's really soft and like perfect for like when it's below zero degrees onto the last bag now i have this Alice in Wonderland top from Primark I believe um, again this is one I wear on holiday if I go to like Disney or something I have a few dresses in here from a Killstar that are more like really summery this one I actually forgot I had and I love it so much it's like this very like you can see how see-through it is um, but it's perfect for the hot weather it's got pentagrams all over the dress as you can see although it does look see-through like you can't see through the bottom bit because it does have another piece of net underneath it's just a very flattering fit it does up with a button here and it has like a perfect gap for a necklace um i probably will do an outfit of the day with this as well i've got loads of outfit of the days planned as you can tell this was the restyle top i mentioned in my restyle haul it says i put a spell on you and it's this witch hat again like the neck does kind of look like a scoop neck but it doesn't go down as low and it's actually like really flattering onto some more basic things as well 
I've got an orange kind of muted top, like a muted orange, just plain. And also I have, oh, I've got like three of these in different colours. So it's like the burgundy one, but this one's actually like short sleeves and it's this really nice purple colour. So in this style, I have the purple one. I have this, which I wear to death in the summer, which is a striped version. Again, it looks nice with black shorts, black skirts, things like that. And also this really nice orange and black striped one, which is similar to that other one I showed. I got this top from Forever 21. And it's just such like a nice striped top. Like the stripes weren't too thin or too thick or anything. It was just like perfect. And this looks really nice with the this choker and like some accessories. Back to the dresses, I have this bug dress from Jawbreaker, which I love. I like designed the death head moth necklace, like specifically to go with this dress. Even though it doesn't have a moth on it, it just, I really wanted like that necklace to go with it. As I said, it is from Jawbreaker and it has a halter neck kind of design and then kind of a skater style skirt with it. And it does have this repetitive bug print all over and also the praying mantis, which is my favorite bug. <laughs> This is the missing Wednesday Adams dress, which should have been in the wardrobe. And it's the Tido version in purple. This one is a bit more of a baby doll style. Maybe it doesn't look too bad, but the skirt's a lot shorter than the other ones. But I still really like it and hopefully I can just carry on wearing it with leggings and things. I've got these Vixen shorts, which are like really high quality but kind of too thick to wear in really hot weather, unfortunately. But they've got this really cool lacing, like corset lacing design on the side of them. They've got pockets. They're like a good length as well. They're not too short. And then this like cat shaped pocket here. I think it is supposed to be a cat because they were called like the cat shorts or something. And then it just says Vixen on the back and then some pockets as well. So these are really nice for like kind of England summer, as long as it doesn't get to 33 degrees again. I have this one, which is very sparkly. This is not usually something I'd go for. I was kind of like in a, I want to create a space outfit look. So I kind of got this hoping that I'd wear it with like a metallic silver skirt, but I never got the skirt. So I think I kind of wore this with a black skirt once, but it is like quite thin and a little bit itchy to be honest i've got two items left this one is okay this one looks not okay but <laughs> it's kind of like a vest top but it's got this crossed effect and also like this one strap that goes from here as well and this is quite a fitted top as you can see it's quite small and it looks really nice with the sun and moon skirt from killstar um, with also this kimono, which I think is up there, which I might grab. Um, and that's going to be an outfit of the day video as well. And the last one to show you is this really cute, summery, fun top. And it's from the brand Flip Flops and Fangs. And I did get this off of Depop because I couldn't find it in, the, in their shop anymore. And it's just got these really adorable, cute bats. And they all have like different faces on and some are upside down and it does have like a classic like wednesday adams style collar with also these sheer sleeves on the side and it's just such like a cute top for the summer i love it i know i said that was the last item but i just grabbed my kimono this was the item i bought literally i think like two days before my holiday because i was like i wanted a kimono and i never got one and i ended up wearing quite a lot mainly for the aesthetic reason. <laughs> and this was actually from H&M and I saw it in their shop and I kept going back and I just couldn't find them. And I was like searching Google and going into different shops and I just couldn't find one I loved. And then I found it online and luckily it got shipped before I went on holiday. As you can see, it's very sheer, but this is like perfect for really hot weather in the summer. It has like quite long sleeves, kind of like this, kind of when they go down to your elbow. And then like from this is like where it would go around your shoulders that's the end of it so it's like it's a very long kimono i think it's almost floor length but it doesn't touch the floor which is really good hopefully they'll bring something back 
next year if you're after this because I do really recommend it if you still want to look kind of gothy and witchy but you're kind of dying inside because of the heat. <laughs> I will probably be doing a accessory kind of collection maybe because I do have some bags that I wanted to talk about today but I've kind of done quite a lot of filming and my throat is starting to go <laughs> so that will have to be for a different day but that's not too much hassle because this is kind of taking everything out and trying to get it to fit back in which is never fun. I did want to do this video because I do like to go back through and see what I have and it makes me think of like styling opportunities things like that which I do really enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't seen my wardrobe tour it might be a good idea like seeing that as well because I've made references like to both leave a comment down below if you like saw something and didn't mention where it was from or you wanted more information then i can answer that for you leave a like if you enjoyed it and as i said at the beginning please subscribe if you like this kind of content and i will see you in my next video bye